Joe Concha covers media for The Hill, and he joins us tonight. So, Joe, do you think that the real problem with BuzzFeed is that it has given rise to segments like this where mean right-wingers on Fox News criticize NBC? Is that, is that really the core problem of the story, would you say? Well, Tucker, let me address Chuck Todd there, because for, people don't uh, realize this, but he's not only the moderator of Meet the Press, but he is also the political director of NBC News. So here's the thing. Everybody, all those anchors and pundits you just show had ample warning that there was a serious problem with this story, because on right. Friday morning, before all the impeach and if trues came out, as you mentioned, you had Anthony Cormier, who was one of the authors in this piece on CNN, saying he hadn't seen the evidence that was used as a foundation for the story. And then minutes later on MSNBC, Jason Leopold, the other author on here, said he had seen the evidence. That is your red flag right there, where Chuck Todd, as a political director, then needs to get the troops together and say, guys, look, our own news organization, NBC News, could not verify this report independently, and therefore we should... Go about this with extreme caution. Instead, you mentioned the number nearly 200 times. On MSNBC alone, the word impeach or impeachment was said 97 times. That falls at Chuck Todd's feet as a political director when in the morning meeting, met at morning editorial meeting, he should have made sure that didn't happen. And on CNN, same thing. They couldn't verify the report independently, and it was said on there 82 times. And now look, where are we at now? Jason Leopold, the other reporter in the story yeah. who said he saw the evidence, is like Edward Snowden. You can't find him. He hasn't tweeted for three days. He hasn't written any tweets anyway. And he d isn't doing any interviews. You see Ben wait, Smith wait, can, on may, CNN may yesterday, I do but clarify? you don't see so, him. So yeah. Cormier has always struck me as a real reporter, you know, actually, yeah. to be honest about it. Um, but this Leopold I kid agree. has like a long history of of really reckless behavior. I mean, he's the one who publicly reported, and it turned out to be false, that Karl Rove had been indicted. I think he was fired for plagiarism another time. The guy's a political activist. Why would you ever put someone like that on a story of this magnitude? Precisely. And it's it's funny because with Leopold and, and so many in the media, the mistakes only seem to go one way towards right. Republicans or conservatives or Trump in this case. I mean, ask yourself this question. When was the last time you saw a major media outlet make a mistake or a major error in a story about a Democratic lawmaker? I, I'm, 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 you know, racking my brain. <laughs> That's such a good point. I think a couple never. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've only right, been watching exactly. for 30 years. I've never seen that happen, ever, not one yeah. time. By the way, will you keep a list? I mean, I want, to be, I want to be honest about it. You know, if you see Nancy Pelosi unfairly impugned by Chuck Todd, will you let me know and we'll do a segment on it? Just to correct no, the record. I'll, I'll, be over, I'll be all over. And by the way, Glenn Greenwald has a great piece today in The Intercept. He lists 10 major stories that the media has gotten wrong on Russia. So this isn't a one-off like it's being portrayed by some that are saying, oh, this is just an excuse to attack the media. We've seen this over yeah, and over and over again. And as I mentioned, going in the same direction. There's, I don't think there's anyone braver than Glenn Greenwald. Um, Joe, thank you very much. He's great. Good to see you. Thank you.